Welcome numbers world. Today we are going to solve past papers of ICATS mathematics contest of year 2019 for grade 1 and 2. So let's start it. Question number 1. Mr. Ahmed bought 30 newspapers in a month. Below are the newspapers that he saved from that month. How many newspapers are missing from the 30 newspapers which Mr. Ahmed bought? So here we can count the number of newspapers in the first row first. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So 10 newspapers are in one row and then there is another row of 10. So 10 plus 10 is equal to 20. So to find it out how many are missing, we are going to subtract 20 out of total, which is 30. So 30 minus 20 is equal to 10. So it means 10 newspapers are missing. So D is our correct option. Question number two, Mr. Ali's class went for a bird watching. The students were divided into teams. The table below shows the number of birds each team saw. How many total birds team B saw? So the record of team A, team B and team C is given in the chart and there are three types of birds like sparrows, robins and cardinals. But our interest is only in the total number of birds that team B saw. So we are going to add these numbers 5 plus 3 plus 3 is equal to 11. So it means that team B saw 11 birds in total. So option D is the correct option. Question number 3. The students in art class were building a castle with blocks. The picture below show how many blocks they used each day in building the castle. After four days, the castle was complete. How many blocks in all were used to make the castle? So each long bar is representing 10 blocks. So at day one, they have used 10 plus 10 plus 10 plus 3 is equal to 33 blocks. At do, day two, they have used two bars of 10 and five unit blocks. So 10 plus 10 plus 5 is 25. At day three, they have used four bars of 10. So four 10s are 40. At day 4, they have used 10 plus 10 plus 10 plus 4, that is equal to 34. Now we are going to add all the values. So let's do it. 33 plus 25 plus 40 plus 34, that is equal to 132. 3 plus 5 plus 4 is equal to 12. 2 came down and 1 was given as a carry. So 1 plus 3 plus 2 plus 4 plus 3 is equal to 13. So, option D is the correct one. They used 132 blocks to make the castle. Question number 4, which clock shows the time 7, 8? So, we will discuss all our options one by one here. In option A, the hour hand is at 7 and the minute's hand is in between 1 and 2. So, we will multiply this 1 by 5 to find out the minutes. 5 ones are 5 and as it is in the middle of 1 and 2, so we will say it's at 8. So, the time is 7, 8 here. In option B, the hour hand is at 7 and the minutes hand is at 8. To find out the minutes, we will multiply 8 by 5, which is 40. So the time that is shown uh, in option B is 7.40. In option C, the hour hand is in between 1 and 2. So it means our hour is 1 and the minutes hand is at 7. So 5 sevens are 35. So time is 1.35. Now, the last option is D where... Our hand is at 8 and the minute's hand is in between 1 and 2. So we can say it's 8-8. Eight, eight. So the question was which clock shows the time 7-8? Option A is the correct one. It shows 7-8. Question number 5. The table below shows the number of butterflies in 4 different collections. There are 20 butterflies in collection A. How many butterflies does each butterfly picture in the key represent? So if we look at the key, the number in the butterfly is missing that how many butterflies are represented by one butterfly. But a hint is given that in collection A, there are 20 butterflies. So if we look at collection A, two butterflies are representing 20. So we need to find out how many butterflies are represented by one butterfly. So to do that, we are going to divide 20 on 2. So what is the answer? It's 10 means 10 plus 10 is equal to 20. So D is our answer. Each butterfly is representing 10 butterflies. Question number 6. Sara used shapes to write the number sentence below. Which number should be written in the square? So the equation that is written over here is 5 plus 4 is equal to 4 plus what? That is a question mark. So if, if the value of the triangle is same at the both sides of the equal, 
So the value of the square will also be same at the both sides of the equal. So 5 plus 4 is equal to 4 plus 5 which makes 9 is equal to 9. So option D is the correct one. The value of this square is also 5. Question number 7. Nomi wrote the number sentence below. 107 is less than dash. Which number can Nomi write on the line to make the number sentence correct? So one by one we will check all our options. So option A is 101. So let's see. 107 is less than 101. It's wrong because obviously 101 is smaller than 107. So not selected. Option B is 106. It's also smaller than 107. It's not bigger. So that's why it's also wrong. 107. 107 is not less than 107. It is equal to 107. So that's why it is also wrong. Option D is 109. So let's read the sentence. 107 is less than 109, which is correct. So option D is our correct option. Question number 8. Ariba has colored 25 pictures in a coloring book. She colors 23 more pictures in the book. What is the total number of pictures Ariba has colored in the book? So she has already colored 25 pictures and now she has colored 23 more pictures. So we are going to add the given numbers to find out the total number of the colored pictures. So let's make a sum to find it out. 25 plus 23. So 5 plus 3 is equal to 8 and 2 plus 2 is equal to Four. So answer is 48. It means she has colored 48 pictures in total. So C is our option. Question number 9. Which picture shows an even number of flowers? So we know even number is a number that comes in the table of 2. In other words, it is divisible by 2. So we will count the number of the flowers first and then we will see which number is even number. So in option A, 9 flowers are given. In option B, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 flowers are there. And in option C, there are 6 flowers. And in option D, there are 5 flowers. So now look at the numbers. Which number comes in the table of 2? It's 6. So, so option op C is our correct option. Question number 10. Which of these has the same number of hundreds as 952? So if we look at this number, 9 is at hundreds place. Now let's check the 100 places of all our options. In option A, 3 is at 100 place. In option B, 4 is at 100 place. In option C, 5. And in option D, 9 is at 100 place. So you can see option D is the correct one because 952 and 967 both have 9 at their 100 places. Question number 11. Jameel counts 48 tickets. Sonia counts 20 fewer tickets than Jameel. Which of these tells a way to find how many tickets Sonia counts? So let's uh, see our options first and then we will come back to our question. Option A is add 2 tens to 48. 2 tens means 20. So 20 plus 48 is equal to 68. Option B is subtract 2 tens from 48. So, 48 minus 20 is equal to 28. Option C is add 2 ones to 48. So, we are going to add 2 into 48. The answer will be 50. And in option D, subtract 2 ones from 48. So, 48 minus 2 is equal to 46. Now, Jamil counts 48 tickets. So, it means total is 48. And Sonia counts 20 fewer tickets than Jamil. Fewer means less. And less means subtraction minus. So we are going to subtract 20 out of 48. So here option B is the correct one. 48 minus 20 is equal to 28. So question number 12. Which rule is best for finding the length of a kitchen? Question number, option A is ruler. We are well aware of this tool because we use this to measure the length of different objects. But, but those objects are usually less than 12 inches or 1 foot. Option B is measuring tape. This can be our answer because measuring tape is usually used to measure the lengths of longer objects or lengths or widths of a room. Option C is scale. This tool is used to measure the weights of uh, objects in grams or kilograms. Option D is measuring spoon. We know this tool can be used to measure very small amount of uh, liquids or solids. So option B is the appropriate one. Because Question number 13. This clock shows the time a place starts. Which clock also shows the time the play starts? So basically, we have to convert the analog time into digital. So you can see the 
our arm it's uh, almost at six so our hour is six and the minutes arm is at three so we are going to multiply three by five to find out the minutes so five threes are 15. so option c is the digital clock that is representing 615 so c is the correct answer question number 14 which circle shows the two halves so option a b and d are not representing exact two halves option c is the correct one which is representing two halves of the circle question number 15 how many women are there so we can see there are three men bill daniel and robin and there are two women sarah and anna so we can check our options option a is four no b uh, is many that's also incorrect c is two and option d is there are more women than men no it's incorrect so option c is the correct one because there are two women Question number 16, how many matchsticks are there in the picture? So let's count the heads of the matchsticks. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So there are 10 matchsticks in the given picture. Question number 17, how many apples and oranges are there in this picture? So let's count the number of oranges and apples. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and 7. So there are seven fruits in the picture. Okay. Question number 18, which bead is in the middle between two violet beads? So the first violet bead is over here and the second is here. Now we are going to count the number of beads in between these two violet beads. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, and 21. So it means there are 21 beads between them. Now we have to find out which one is exactly in the middle. So, 21, the half, the middle of 21 is this one, 11th. Because uh, this red color bead is the 11th bead because uh, exact 10 beads are before it and 10 beads are after it. So, it's in the middle of these two violet beads. So the answer is option C, that is a red bead. Question number 19, which animal is the first to the right of the wooden bucket? So there is a wooden bucket over here next to the hen. And at the right side of this wooden bucket, the first animal that is shown here is a cat. So option C is the correct option. Question number 20, how many more eggs can you put into the package? So we can see the empty spaces where we can keep more eggs. So look at this. We can put two more eggs over here. One and then two more eggs next to the brown and white eggs so three and four it means we can keep four eggs into the package so c is the correct option i hope you like my video so don't forget to like and comment on it and subscribe my channels see you soon